Thrown together by fate, held together by repeated success, the three of them made a good team and did good work. And because they worked so well together, they got all the most difficult, dangerous, and demanding cases. Pappy was always threatening to quit, but never did. Partly because he enjoyed the company, mostly because he enjoyed the free medical benefits. J.C. made no secret of the fact that he was still looking for some solid proof on the fate of human consciousness after death. And Melody stayed because the Institute gave her access to the very latest tech. And because she couldn't hope to do nearly as much damage anywhere else. She moved happily back and forth in front of her assorted computers, scanners, and certain arcane assemblies of her own design, arranged on a collapsible frame. Picking up anything interesting? Uh, you wouldn't understand if I told you. Everything's operating as it should. All the motion detectors and temperature tests are fine. And there's not a single energy spike across the board. Rest assured that if anything ectoplasmic should deign to show its face in what's left of tonight, I am ready and waiting to analyze it in any number of interesting ways. A ghost mouse couldn't fart around here without me knowing. And if our ghosties and ghoulies don't present any measurable activity? Then that's why we have you. Though I often wish we didn't. Girl geek. Spice Girls fan. Children, children, play nicely, or there will be spankings. I hate it here. It's cold, it's damp, and I think moss is starting to grow under my testicles. Oh, oh, there's a mental image I wasn't expecting to take home with me. Hold it. Happy's head came up suddenly, like a hound catching a scent. Hold everything. Did either of you feel that? Feel what? JC moved in close beside Happy and looked quickly around. We're not alone. There's something here with us. No visible presence. Can't say I actually heard or smelt anything. But there's definitely a sense of being observed, and not in a good way. Not friendly, then. <laughs> what do you think? When was the last time we encountered a happy ghost? Very definitely not including the laughing ghoul of Lester. Bad cess to his moldering bones. If you were hoping to meet Casper the dead baby, you're in the wrong team. We only get the bad-tempered ones. Let us remain optimistic, if only out of a sense of perversity. Easy for you to say. You're not a Class 11 sensitive. Damn. The presence is so strong. Now it's almost overwhelming. My head is pounding. Take some of your painkillers. You're so much more bearable when you're medicated. No. No pills, Happy. Concentrate. Not even the little purple ones? You like those? Maybe later, Happy. Hang in there. Melody, anything showing up on your instruments? Nothing. Not a damn thing anywhere. And no, I don't feel anything. You wouldn't. You have all the sensitivity of a nightclub bouncer. Not listening, not listening. According to the briefing files, an old lady was knocked down and killed in this very parking lot. Just a few months ago. A reversing car ran over her, driver swore he never even saw her. Could she be our ghost? I do good work with little old lady ghosts. They trust me. This doesn't feel like any old lady, JC. I'm not even sure it's human. I'm getting images now, sounds, associations, none of them recent. This is old, and I mean really old. Centuries past, dark, brutal, hungry. I don't like the feel of this at all. Where is it? JC glared about into the harsh light of the car park and the darkness beyond. Can you narrow it down to a location or even a direction? It's everywhere. Pappy turned round and round in small, stumbling circles. It's closing in on us from every direction at once. The whole damn area is haunted. Not just the car park, but this is the focus, all right? We're standing at ground zero. Melody, tell me something, Melody. Anything. My instruments are lighting up like Christmas trees. Melody moved quickly from one screen to another. But none of the readings make any sense. I'm getting sharp spikes in the upper electromagnetic range, massive energy surges almost overloading the sensors, far too strong for any human revenant. Something's coming, JC. Something huge and powerful, coming up out of the past, out of the deep past, the really long ago. I've never seen readings like these, JC. We are off the scale here, people. It's been here all along, just waiting for some poor damn fools to break its bonds and turn it loose. Hold on. I'm getting something. On the radio station, I keep detuned for electronic voice phenomena. I can't tell where it's coming from, but... Oh, listen to this. 
It's in the air, all around us. There was rhythm in the sound, and definite traces of sense and meaning, but no recognizable words. Voices from out of the deep past, when we were still learning how to be human. J.C. shuddered as goose flesh rose up all over him, and his scalp crawled. Melody clung desperately to her instruments like a drowning woman. Happy's face twisted as he shrank away from the sounds. J.C. put a calming hand on Happy's shoulder and gestured for Melody to shut the sounds off. <laughs> 